Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Deborah. You guys are watching Simply Deborah, where I simply create content about fashion, beauty, and everyday living. Today is Monday. We're doing everyday living. We're doing Monday kitchen. We're in the cook we're in the kitchen cooking. <laughs> tongue twister. So we're in the kitchen cooking and I told y'all every Monday I'm going to be preparing a dish. A quick little dish. It's hot here in Georgia. I don't know. Some meals may be long. Some may be short. Some may be 15 minutes to prepare. 30 minutes. We're just going to go. Okay. We're just going to cook. Um, and today we're cooking some grilled cheese. Not a simple grilled cheese that you just put on the stove with your bread and your cheese and butter and that's it. Normally, that's what I would do. But I was going through a cookbook, which this is the cookbook that I have snatched up. This is Taste of Home. Taste of Home, um, Cooking Quick. And yeah, so they have a ton of recipes in here. They have, oh my God, that looks so good. I love me some brownies and some good ice cream. Now, I am lactose intolerant. I cannot do ice cream. I have to do dairy-free ice cream. These tacos look good too. I think next Monday, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do the shrimp tacos. So, an avocado. Yep, that's what we'll do. But anywho, today... Um, <clears throat> I am lactose intolerance where I cannot do dairy milk, but I can do cheese. I know some people that are lactose intolerance cannot do cheese, cannot do milk. Yeah. They just ice cream, all of that. They just can't do as long as it's, as long as it is lactate free milk, I can do, but it still kind of tolerate irritates my stomach. I try to tolerate it. If I'm eating like a bowl of cereal, I can just probably do one bowl per week. If I do every day that week, even with it being lactate, my stomach, it bothers my stomach. I don't know why, but it does. So, but cheese is so weird. I can eat all kinds of cheese and don't have any problems. I love cheese. <laughs> so I was like, okay, so we're going to do this grilled cheese sandwich right here. See, don't that look good? So I found it in the book in the, it is called the basil tomato grilled cheese sandwich. So that is what we're going to be making. It says it takes 20 minutes to make, um, and it's for four servings for, so this will be four servings of people, depending on how many they eat, I guess. Um, but I have everything here. I went to the store. It does not call for a lot. Um, it does call for eight slices of Italian bread, which I got this from Whole Foods. They come in the loaf and they will slice it up for you if you ask them. So they ended up slicing this up and making it just the bread size. So I got that in a loaf. So this is the Italian bread. I picked that up. We needed two parts skim of mozzarella sliced cheese. So I picked up this. This is the mozzarella um, sliced cheese. So I got that. Then it calls us for two large plum tomatoes. So I got my tomatoes right here. And then it calls us for a minced fresh basil. I don't have minced, but I do have fresh basil that I picked up from Whole Foods and it will still work out. So I picked this up from Whole Foods. They didn't have it. They only had the plants. So I'll just take some stems off of here, chop it up and we're good. So I have that. And then we have the balsamic vinegar. So I ended up getting this, and this is balsamic vinegar. So I got that. Then we need salt and pepper. I probably just use a little pepper. I'm not going to use any salt because cheese has salt in it. I can't do a lot of salt because it would raise my blood pressure up, make me lightheaded. So for that reason, I kind of stay away from so much salt. Um, so if it has salt in it, I just substitute for what it already has in it. I don't add more salt to it unless it really, really, really need it. And then it calls us for two tablespoons of grated Parmesan cheese. I picked this up from last week when I made our noodles and shrimp. And then it has three quarter or a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. Here's my garlic powder. And we have everything. My daughter did give me um, some Gouda cheese. I love Gouda because it has that smoky taste to it. So maybe half of it, I'm going to put the Gouda and see if there's a difference. And then the other half, I will use the shaved Parmesan. So 
Yeah, so I'll use both of them, but just on different sandwiches. And that is everything. So I'm going to go ahead, prep, get everything together so that we can go ahead and start making this dish. So give me a moment. Let me get everything together. Smells amazing. Our slices of bread, layer the mozzarella cheese, tomatoes, and sprinkle the basil, vinegar. So, get the cheese.
cheese. Now four slices of bread, layer the mozzarella cheese, tomato, and sprinkle tomato. Basil. This basil smells so good. It smells so fresh. Okay. Basil. Vinegar. Salt and pepper and top with the mini big bread. Vinegar. So okay, so I'm gonna have to give me a brush. I don't have one, so I'm just gonna use a spoon. I thought I had a brush to brush it, but I don't. And sprinkle basil, vinegar, salt, and pepper on top with the remaining bread. I have a big hole in it. Okay. In a small bowl, combine the olive oil. Here's my bowl. So I'm gonna combine my olive oil, put that in there. In a small bowl, combine the olive oil, Parmesan cheese. Put that over in there. And the garlic powder, put that in there. and mix together. Brush to brush it on. Let's see if I can put it on. So I didn't have a brush, but I do have a spatula. So I'll use that. So what I'm gonna do is take this, drizzle it on it. The stove is on. I'm going to take the side that I put it on and I'm just going to
And while that is on that side, I'll take the other part and drizzle that. She's just catching on to the other sandwich. See the cheese oozing out? So this is what we have, guys. So this is what we have, and this is the slip shelter. So, let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. Same thing, right? So now let's give it a taste. Okay, y'all, so now we're gonna taste it to see if it tastes like that. So this is what I have, a half of a sandwich.
Not bad. You can definitely taste that balsamic vinaigrette dressing in it. Tastes so good. Yeah, I don't need any salt or pepper. Maybe just a little pepper. I'm getting some of that basil. Oh my God. So good. Mm. It has a nice crunch to it. And it's not gooey gooey where cheese is gooing out of it. It's nice and light. Hmm. I think if I had had that brush to make sure I brushed it over the whole thing, taking a spoon, you're just getting it in dibble and dabble places, but you can't taste it in the bite, the balsamic vinaigrette dressing. But that's good. It's not, let's not forget about the, the Italian bread. Oh my God. It is bursting with flavors. It's, this is really good. And again, I like it that it's nice and light. Hmm. That was really good, guys. I really enjoyed that. I'm gonna have my daughter to taste it, but it's really good. It's easy, it's quick. Guys, this meal is easy, quick, and it's super good. It's good for the kids. It's good for you. I know you guys will love it. And I do. It tastes really, really, really good. So that will conclude today's Cooking in the Kitchen with Deborah. Monday cooking. And yeah, if y'all new and you want to see more videos like that, it helps me so much for you guys to watch the complete video to give it a thumbs up and to comment and let me know what was the best part of the video. That helps in my videos. That helps with me gaining more algorithm um, with YouTube. So if you can do that for me, I will greatly appreciate it. And I'm gonna go and I will talk to y'all in my vlog, in my weekly vlog. <laughs> Until then, y'all stay safe. Um, go love on someone, go tell them that you love them. Um, and yeah, and don't, most of all, don't, be afraid to try new things in your kitchen. I'm trying all new dishes on Mondays, and this is something that I would definitely be adding to my routine somewhere along the month. Um, but I do. I truly, truly, truly like it. And yeah, so don't, it's your kitchen. If you mess up, nobody will know. Just start over. Put things in there that you like. I like this and I will chat with y'all on my next video. Until then, talk to y'all later. Bye.